Okay, one of the first things that come to mind is this is only backtesting. It's not the real life and the results should be the same each and every time I do a backtesting. Well, we have traded the Australian dollar against the yen here on a one minute basis and the trading year was 2015 and we traded the overdrive system. For the next try I will disable the visual mode here that should speed up things significantly. So let's hit the start button. Let's have a look at the results by clicking on the report tab, right mouse, save as report. Let's call this test report 1 and we made a total net profit of 2750 euros. The system made all these trades automatically. Let's do another test. I will start the back testing again. Let's watch the graph. And this also should only take a minute or so. Okay, the test is finished now. Click on report, save as report. We will call this one test 2. And this time it only was 1636 euro. Let's do it again using the same parameters here. And you should notice that the graph is different now. This green line here is the equity and the blue line is the balance. Once again click on report, save as report and it's test report 3. And this time we made 2225 euros. Let's have a look at the trading curves side by side. This one looks a little bit different than this one. You notice these drawdowns here? You won't see them on the left side. The left system started with a sell. This is also the case for the right system. It sold here and the other one bought here. This one did 454 trades. This one did 466 trades. And the third one did 536. Why should an automated trading system make different decisions when I trade the same year three times in a row. Let's do another one here. You can watch the balance curve going up. Just a few seconds and now it's done. Click on the report, right mouse, and I will save it as test report 4. And this time we made 479 trades. And we made a total net profit of 3622 euro. If you want to know how this system performed in reality, go on to the next video.